What's up y'all? Welcome back to Your Turn to Die. This game is fucking fun. I can't sit here and lie and say that I don't like it. I love this game. I'm having so much fun doing this shit. And now it's time to run back another episode. Real quick, if you haven't already, please join the Discord link down below in the description and come join the best, fastest growing community ever. It's actually not the fastest, but it is the best community ever. You should come join that. And if you also haven't already, please make sure to hit the red subscribe button down below. I would really appreciate it. It really helps me out. Thank you in advance. But without further ado, let me not waste any more of your time. Let's get into another episode. And we run it back. We run it back. What? What? Are, where we left off doing we you can depend on mr policeman anytime there are lots of passages on this floor too it seems easy to get lost exploring comes first might find something besides attractions okay so we have to go find more attractions we've already been to the ruined corridor there's two more attractions there. what the fuck now's not the time for attractions where so what are we looking for who are we trying to find i i completely forgot bro Hmm. What is it, Sarah Cheetwin? Alice. I take it you have business with the attractions beyond here. I thought so. Attractions appeared here? What, you didn't notice? <laughs> so my observation skills is superior. Over there, and there, and here. Discover three deaf attractions. You select you can select attractions via the move menu. Challenge them if you're up to it. And tell me if you seek my observational skills. Quick draw, what is quick draw? Oh, I can't do anything with that. Even if it's a fake outside, it feels nice, meow. Okay, all good. Monitor room. Sarah, Connor. Hey there. So, I worried you, huh? Connor explained it to me. This is one shock after another. I couldn't blame anyone for being paralyzed. Sarah, it looks like attractions have appeared in a few places. Yeah, so I heard. It looks like you can go to three more attractions from here, in fact. What? Look, behind you. I don't trust, bro. He's still on my shit list, for sure. He's right. There are paths on the opposite side. Discovered three deaf attractions. I wonder. Maybe some locations opened up other than the attractions. Let's search for a little longer, kinda. Oh, okay. So that's all the attractions that opened. It might be about time to continue with clearing attractions. Let's do it then. Runaway minecart. Participants two, clear ship, reward two, difficulty normal. Get past obstacles that get in the way of the minecart and reach the goal within the time limit. I guess I'll pick Soul for this. So Hiyori, being nimble, the card advances faster. Reselect. What does Kutaro do? As Kutaro, your characteristic might greatly increase your attack power. Nah. It makes it hard. Increases the appearance rate of speed up icons. Let's partner again. I'm gonna ride in the car with Big Six Sarah, meow. Okay, how do I play this game? How do I play it? Is it is there like a different way to play it? I don't I don't know if there's a different way to play it. We'll get through this together. I'll protect Mystic Sarah Meow. Run away minecart rules. Ride in the minecart towards the goal. Deal with the obstacles that appear on the way and reach the goal within the time limit. Wooden wall rapidly touch to destroy. Iron wall mash on the screws to destroy. Bats touch the danger side to evade. Speed up, touch the speed symbol to accelerate. All right, let's go. Touching your allies icon will give you advice and the like, so good luck. This is fast. My God, you just have to click on it, bro. Oh fuck, I missed, okay. Move, move, move. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Move, 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 go, 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 speed up, speed up, speed up, speed up, speed up. Speed up, speed up, speed up. Let's go, let's go. We beating the clock now. We're beating the clock. 
We're beating the clocks. Another speed up. Let's go. Beat the clock. Dodge that. Dodge that. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Got that? Let's go. Let's go. We speed. We are beating the clock. This is good shit. Fuck. That kills so much time. Holy shit. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. This is not easy. I got that. I got that. We ducked. We ducked. We ducked. Let's go. This is going to be close. This is going to be close. This is going to be real close. This is going to be real close. Okay. It might not be as close as I thought. Yeah, it's not going to be close at all. Never mind. We're good. We won. W. 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 Easy shit. Easy shit. Easy shit. I don't like clicking too much, but easy shit. It was easy. That shit was not easy at all. Thank you for the tokens. Appreciate that. Good clear. Woohoo, meow. Big Six Sarah. We're the ultimate team. Let's share these stars too, meow. One for Big Six Sarah, one for me. Got a clear chip. All right, cool. With this, this attraction is done. Got it. What's next? Negotiation. Sarah, want to trade Tony tokens between you, me, and now? Let's hear a short pitch. You see, I decided with Reko that we trade 20 tokens each, but you know, got to cross a shaky bridge together. For instance, we could pass 20 tokens like this, me to Sarah to now, or pass them the other way, now to Sarah to me. This way, we won't need to have extra trade partners in the future, see? So they're daring to trade them like this instead of an equal share. Sarah, want to trade token? Yeah, let's let's do it. That's the ticket. So how are we doing this trade? If we pass tokens like this, or else like this, that's a good way to give 20 tokens, right? They're daring to trade them like this instead of an equal share. Sarah, you can choose whatever direction you like. Yep, and if you don't want to trade, we'll do it ourselves, so don't worry about that. I'd like to receive tokens from those who want to amass them. And if you get 50 of someone's tokens, you can view their personal info, right? Hmm. What should I give to and what should I receive from? If I give give to now receive from, I kind of want to know about Reko. We're going to do that. I'll give my tokens to now. Reko, please give me yours. Got it. Don't lose them, okay? Got 20 Reko tokens. That's it for negotiations. Let's let's keep moving. We got more. It hurts. What, what happened? What's wrong again? The two of us went and did an attraction, but I couldn't quite protect them. Big Six Sarah, I'm okay, meow. Just a scratch, Wolf. But you're bleeding. I can lick it better, Wolf. Would be nice to have somewhere to care for wounds. Uh, would you like to go to the medical office? There's a medical office and we didn't know about it until now? Why are you trolling? Sophilin? Sophilin? Is that, is that your name? Sophilin? Why are we trolling? Why are we trolling? Can you make shit a little easier on us, please? What do you want? Scram, Wolf. But it wouldn't be good if the wrong, the wound was left to fester. You've got no right to be worrying over me, melon soda lady. Meow. Medical treatment for participants is part of my job, you see. Mm, can't exactly believe you that easily. Or are you willing to take a vow, Safflin? I vow that I will cause him no harm. I won't go back on my word. Mm. Can't trust her, Wolf. I'd be mad if she remodeled my body into some weird superhuman. Okay, I'm done with the wolves and meows. Hey, that sounds kind of cool. You do it if you want it that much. I won't force it upon you, but I definitely do think you should get treatment. What to do? This whole shit is about trust. We gotta trust her. We gotta trust her. Let's try trusting her. Big Sis Sarah, are you serious? Yeah. If she's about to do something bad, KG and I will protect you. Sounds good to me. Thank you very much. Please follow me this way. Let's take care of bro's wounds. This is the medical office. What's this place? Does it lead outside? Uh, no, everything you see is outside is an image project protected, projected on the glass cabinets. An image? Yes, currently we're displaying a soothing tropical scene. How do you like it? Huh, you're right. It does feel nice. Feels like the AC is tuned just right for it too. How observant. I actually manage this room myself. It serves as a laboratory as well. Uh, so can we heal again? Can we, can we heal, bro? Ah, uh, yes. The medical supplies are over here. Okay, do I just... I can ask people questions. Please take it easy. KG is tending against wound. It's lighter than I thought. Does it hurt again? It doesn't, but I want to have Big Sisera heal for me. Well, now, got me in a sore spot. 
A wound like this should be fine just being washed in water and bandaged. I have a salve that speeds up cellular repair, so if you use that as well, it will more quickly. Sure, that's not dangerous. Understood. Please look at this. Softly cut her own hand, making it bleed. And you use it like this. So you use it like so on the bleeding area. See, it isn't dangerous, is it? Proving it with your own body, huh? Got it. <laughs> okay, Softly's kind of cool. Getting catch your treat talking whispers. Mr. Policeman, Mr. Policeman, what's up? Is it okay to give Big Sis Sarah this? No. Better not give her that. I wonder what they're talking about. Um, do you have something for me? It's nothing. Hmm? Well, that's pretty suspicious. Now, we gotta look at what- Show me that again. No, I can't. Come on, please. And his hand was... It's... The thing Big Bro Joe had. The dog keychain he always kept in his breast pocket. The one I gave Joe. Oh, fuck. Damn. I picked it up then. I didn't want the kidnappers to take it. Sorry. Fuck. Again, you did well. Is it okay if I take this? You're glad? Yeah. Fire, but also fuck. This is precious to me. Thank you, Gin. Thank goodness. No help in it, I guess. Ugh. What was that? Calm down. Gotta stay calm. Well, we've treated Gin, so let's leave. Right. If you get hurt, please come back again. Thank you. We'll make use of it again. There's no reason to thank her. It's because of these guys were getting hurt. Apologies. Let's go, you two. Actually, you know what? I, I don't... I'm not really tripping too much off of Sofflin. I think, I think for some reason she's got our back. For some reason. I don't know why. I don't think everybody a part of this game is 100% evil, if that makes sense. Hmm? Rico's glancing at me to call me over. I wonder what it is. Sarah, can you come with me for a sec? Ooh, what is it? I found a weird place. I want to show you before telling everyone. A weird place? Come on, follow me. What is this place? Told you. Weird, yeah? The most suspicious part is those stairs. There's a vending machine at the top. A vending machine? Suspicious vending machine sits at the top of stairs. There aren't any items displayed inside, and no price is shown either. The power's on. A vending machine with no clear merger prices. The hell's this deal, you think? The bill acceptor slot is plugged up, but it looks like you can put in coins. Uh, like tokens? What should we do? Put in some tokens? Hold on a second. How many tokens do we need? I'll put some in. I'll try putting some in. Cut it out! You don't gotta take the risk, move it. Rico swiftly inserted a token. Nothing's happening. Maybe one token isn't enough? Mm. Seeing as there's this number above, it may be you have to insert 200 tokens. Who's gonna earn that many? That better be one goddamn tasty soda. Maybe there's no need to worry about it. Got a point. 200 is just unreasonable. No problem ignoring it then. Well, ain't that a relief? That's this is creepy place. Oh, Reko. Hmm? I took the token she inserted from the return slot and gave it back to Reko. Hey, thanks. Now well, let's move, Sarah. Right. Maybe we can come back if we solve the mystery. Besides, it's about time I do an attraction. At night? Y'all doing retractions at night? How strange. There's even night outside these windows. Alright. Let's go back to the ruined corridor. There's some hard shit in here. I did the charge card. 
Or did I? Yeah, I've already cleared that. Press the po press the button when the power gauge is full to throw it on the opponent's arm. Defeat the three dolls to win. I need Kutaro for this. I need strength. I need strength for him. Okay, let's go. Let's do it. Explain me the rules so I can fuck this game up and we can move on. Let's let's get it popping. Let's make this shit easy on ourselves. We don't have to we don't have to take shit too hard. You know what I'm saying? We'll start with me. You got the motivation? Show him that power of yours. Press the button when the strength guard is most full. If you do well, you'll push back the opponent's arm. For the last attack, or when the ver or on when the verge of defeat, a fist button will appear. Mash on it. Okay. Touching your ally's icon will give you advice and the like, so good luck. What the fuck? Oh, this is kind of hard. What? Why am I? Okay. Whoa, hold on, hold on. Win. Okay. When am I actually supposed to be hitting this bar? Oh shit, there we go. Why is it moving? Why is the bar moving? This is actually simple. I did not need Qtaro for this. This is pretty damn simple. Okay. Oh shit. Oh fuck, my bad. Okay. Oh, fuck. There we go. What the fuck? It's moving. If I keep it right here, I think I should be good. Got him. We fucking win. Fuck out my face, boy. Fuck out my face. Fuck out my face. Hey, fuck out my face. Hey, fuck out my face. We cleared another attraction. We cleared another attraction. Cleared another attraction. Cleared another attraction. Cleared another attraction. Okay, we've already traded with Reiko, we've already traded with the police, man. Let's trade with Kicharo, yeah. Alright, at least hear me out here. Sarah, are you collecting tokens? Tokens? I'm collecting them. Let's beat things up, because I am too. Sure, it's kind of like I'm doing just what Ranger and them are telling us to. But honestly, I'm curious about that escape ticket. Escape ticket? Yeah, it wasn't anything like that at the prize exchange, though. Ranger just said there was one. That got me thinking, maybe I'd find out if I collected lots of tokens. So that's why you're collecting them. Sure am. If I can get an escape ticket and get brought to the exit, then maybe I can start an uprising and get every one of us out of here. Of course, I doubt it'd be as easy as all that. I see. Guitar just went and told me instead of trying to keep a secret. But my worry is, if he does get an escape ticket, whether he'll actually consider the rest of us. Guitar seems to believe in fair play, but that in itself seems like reason to question how he'll use a right he earned fairly. What's the matter, Sarah? Nothing. So how's it sound? Just 20 tokens. Want to trade? What should I do? Oh, this is about trust, though. It's about trust. It's about trust. I, sh I could be wrong. I could be making a huge mistake here. I gotta try. Let's trade, Guitar. Let's trade again if you feel like it. I won't. I'm gonna trade once every with everybody. 
Not at, not every. I'm going to literally all my tokens are literally going to be other people's tokens, and all their tokens should be other people's as well. It's gotten late already. I can't even maintain concentration. Guess I'll call it a day. We're about to hallucinate, aren't we? Good night. And here comes the hallucinations. There's some commotion going on outside. What could have happened this late at night? Big Six Sarah is terrible. What is it again? The old guy was killed. Huh? Come to the monitor room. Who's the old guy? You mean Mishima? Wasn't he already dead? Yeah. Okay. It's it's broken. This time Professor Mishima's monitor is broken. What is this? Old guy, he's who would do something so cruel? No oh, good. Seems the computer in front is just for booting it up. The AI was stored on the monitor itself. Mishima can't be booted up anymore. I won't let them get away with this. So, you did this, didn't you? What? You're wrong. I would never do such a thing. Um, Kano was with them the whole time. It wasn't so. Always with them. This late into the night. It's Kano's job to watch him, so we slept in the same room. What? I was worried because she wouldn't let me leave. Thought I ended up getting me an alibi, huh? It wasn't so. I'm beat. Never run into a case with such an unclear motive behind the crime. Who was the first to discover this? That'd be this policeman here. It was you, Keiji? What was the situation? Well, couldn't get to sleep, so I thought I'd have a chat with Mishima. When I came in, well, it just looked like this. Is that true? Yep. It's a shame. It really is. What's this? Why do I get this sense like KG is telling a barefaced lie? Um, has something happened? Man, don't come in. Huh? Professor? Now. Now, do you have any idea who would have done this? You mean who broke it, don't you? I don't know the culprit. Um, please. Don't look for the culprit. What do you mean by that? Please let me be alone for a little. Now? No clues around that, I can see. No bits of wood on the ground like when the other monitor got broken? Nope, nothing. So the evidence was cleaned up this time. This is one nonsensical incident. We'd love to solve it right away, but we need rest. Let's do a detailed investigation tomorrow. Asking Rekko and Kutara can wait till tomorrow, too. Mr. Policeman, you gotta find the culprit. Right. We'll find who it was. For now's sake, especially. Okay, y'all can tell me in the comments, did now ever have, like, a fucking relationship with Mishima? Because she is doing a lot over this man. Like, I'm talking about she is all over this man. Like, all over him. The shit is crazy, bro. Like, I've never seen somebody so locked in on one person. Her entire mood switches from this one guy. Shit is actually incredible. Like, I've never seen that before. Alright, let's go to the lobby. We got more shit to do. Yep, I don't know shit. Uh, looks like KG's questioning her about the incident yesterday. Because KG broke that shit. It's easy to see. It's stupid easy. Got nothing else to say. Okie dokie. I'll trust you. Oh, Sarah, need something from me? Uh. Nope. Don't know a thing. It's a real pickle. Seems Kutaro doesn't know either. I'll keep up the investigation. See ya. Yeah, he's gone. Sarah, I've got something for you. Could you come with me for a sec? Huh? What now? Oh, we're back. I found something curious here. Something curious? It's hard to see in the dark, but check out that wall. There's a mysterious switch on the wall. Notice the switch there? What is this for? Dunno, but there's an interesting note here. Above the switch there are words, bonus attraction. Bonus attraction? I'm pushing that shit. Let's get it. What? You just went and pushed it? With a loud noise, something activated. A door appeared! Is that... There's a piece of paper on the door. It reads... Room of lies. Don't be forced. 
Don't be fooled. If you're tangled by lies, you'll die. The bones will close once someone clears it. Room of lies? It's a tenth attraction. The hell's going on here? Shouldn't there be nine attractions? Yes, we heard that, but... And six clear ships? It's awfully suspicious, isn't it? Hey, Sarah, did you check all nine attractions? Hmm? Specifically, how many clear chips you get from each attraction? Out of the nine attractions, seven give two, one gives three, and one gives four. All right. And all the attractions gotta be done in pairs. All right. You notice yet? There's nine of us. That's an odd number. A person can't re-enter an attraction once they've already cleared it. So each attraction will always end up with one person who can't do it. Even if everyone who can form a pair goes around every attraction, the number of clear chips we get is 84, and for nine of us to win requires 90. So we're short six, at least one person will die from not having enough. Six, then if we beat this bonus attraction, it gives us exactly enough. Ain't no logic in avoiding this place, Sarah. If we hadn't discovered this attraction, someone would have died. Now it's just who does it? Who? Of course I'll do it, but Reko, and who to pair up with? Well, so can't be trusted for shit. Jinkana and now don't want to put him in danger. Kutaro probably needs compensation to convince that guy's a realist. What about Keiji? No offense, Sarah, but I can't trust that guy. He's hiding something. Yeah, he is. I'll pair with you. I don't even have to think about it. I'll pair with you. You can't do that, Sarah. Why not? You're overworking yourself. You say your asses again and again, and I'm supposed to be older. I'm pathetic. I want to be equals with you, Sarah. It won't satisfy me just to keep getting saved. Equals? Then please don't be modest. You should choose the best option. If that's not me, then I understand. Sarah, I'm afraid to just wait around too. You sure? You got the stamina for this? Yes. I'm in your debt, because really I couldn't imagine anyone but you. Let's beat this and come off safe, partner. I grabbed Rico's outstretched hand and gave her a firm handshake. Then through a gap in Rico's glove, a liquid trailed onto my hand. It was blood. That was when I finally noticed. Rico had scratches and bruises in inconspicuous places all over her body. She had been pushing herself. No doubt she challenged the attractions to earn clear chips for the weaker of us, like getting now. And surely there were more wounds on the thin hands with those gloves. Reko. What's up, Sarah? Forget it. Let's go. Oh, I'm locked in. Let's go. What is this? What is this challenge? This is the room of lies. Pretty dark. You there, Sarah? Yes, let's look around carefully. There's a table in the center of the room. Is it okay to approach? Cancel. Clicking everything. I'm clicking everything. I'm clicking all around the table. I'm clicking all around the table. I'm clicking under the table. I'm all over here. Can't can't move. Okay, we're in here. We are locked in. It's time. Got to approach. These are clear chips, and on the right is a rope. On the top of the plate with the rope-like object on it, there was also a note. This is the web of happiness. In the final attraction, it may just save your lives. The web of happiness. That's astoundingly suspicious. Is it safe to touch? I don't have a choice. Just take the items. Rucker, let's take the items on the table. Wait, in that case, let's do it together. Okay, well, Rucker, you take the clear chips. Got it. Okay. I took the web of happiness. Huh? Suddenly, the lights went out. Oh, shit. The fuck? What happened? Nah, 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 nah. What's happening? I reached for Rico's hand at once and grabbed it. Let's run to the exit, Rico. Are you alright, Rick? Rico's glove. She's still in the room of lies. The door is firmly shut. No. What? Scary as shit. Huh? Are you okay, Rico? Uh, yeah, I wasn't scared. Something the matter, sir? Uh, 
as long as you're okay. Relax, I didn't drop the clear chips. Sure enough, she has all six. I got a cold sweat when it went pitch black. Don't you tell anybody I was freaking out. I wonder if she doesn't like the dark. But I wonder what that was. You know, what was the lie part? Mm. A clear chip's fake? You serious? They look real to me, though. What are we going to do with these dubious clear chips? I was thinking I'd give them to somebody who was having trouble collecting them, but... Sarah, you need one? Huh? Look, I get being wary, but you got a right to have some. Should I accept this suspicious clear chip? It's about trust. We both... There you go. Reckle's hand. Wait, is this glove not yours? Hmm? What's that? Reckle was already wearing gloves on both hands. Yeah, that's mine. Why you've got it, sir? When I pulled your hand earlier, I... I'm pretty sure nobody pulled my... That's not Reko. That is not Reko. That's not, no, 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 no. That's not Reko. That's not Reko. That is for sure not Reko. 1000% that's not Reko. I gotta get rid of this clear chip. I just made a mistake. I just made a massive mistake. That's not Reko. That's not Reko. That is not Reko. That's 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 not Reko. I lost. Your opponent summons enemies that swarm and attack. Strike them down and defeat three summoners to win. Select partner. Who do I need here? The norm number of enemies summoned decreases. Let's do that. That's easy. If I, I'm not good with bugs, but I'll do my best. If I can get less bugs, I'm absolutely taking that. That's 100% not Reco. That's not Reco. That's not Reco. I don't know who that is, but that's not Reco. That's not Reco. That is not Reco. I don't think Reco's dead, but that's not Reco. That's not Reco. That's not Reco. That's not Reco, bro. That's not her. That's not Reco. An insect charm will release many bugs. Touch and defeat all of them in the time limit. Okay. Touching your allies. Yeah, I don't need all that. Oh my God, they move around. They move around. Why? Why are they moving? Why are they moving? Why are they moving? Stop the movement. Why are they moving? But I play aim labs. It's all good. I play aim labs, bro. I play aim labs. I play aim labs. I play aim labs. I fear God, boy. I fear God, boy. No, I don't actually fear God. I don't believe in him. But I got aim labs training, bro. I got aim labs training. I'm too good at this. I'm too nice. I'm too nice. I'm too nice. I'm too nice. I click heads, bro. I'm a shooter. I'm a shooter for real. 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 What's 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 going on? What's going on? What y'all on about? What's good? Bring the bugs. Bring the bugs. Yep. Yep. Too easy. Too easy. Too easy. Too easy. I click head. Okay. I might not click heads. I might not click heads. I missed a little bit. All good. We go back. We go again. We go again. Okay. I'm I'm missing like bad. I'm missing bad. I'm missing bad. <laughs> Oh my god, I got cooked. He cooked me up. Okay, this is hard. Oh my god. Okay, this one got this got hard. This got hard. This got hard. This got hard. Okay. Stop, 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 stop. Just read the patterns. Just read the patterns. They they move in patterns. They move in patterns. I fear a god, boy. Get out of my face. Too easy. Simple. Simple. I got cooked up. I got cooked up for sure, but we got him. We we made that work. Um, was I of use? Not really. All good. I should really have both clear chips. That's just that's just cringe. That's not Reco, bro. That's not Reco. It's about Reco. I want to discuss. Yeah. I was getting a little uneasy. What do you want to ask about Reco? Can we move a little? Yeah, that's not her. So isn't Reco acting strange? Hmm? Something does feel a little off. Like what exactly? Her, her personality. So you think so too? Reco seems somehow cold. There's something about her attitude. Has there been any kind of change with Reco? 
Yeah, she went in the room with lies. I'm not telling lies. She didn't tell you about it? No, I didn't hear anything. Sure enough, that's odd. Shouldn't she have given out those clear chips from the room of lies to the others? Um, Sarah, did you know about the wound on Rico's right hand? Wound? Come to think of it, when I gave Rico a handshake, a bit of blood dripped down along my hand. Really? Yeah. Rico must be hiding something. What does her wound have to do with it? Well, actually, well, never mind. I still don't know what Rico's trying to do myself. It's just clear to me she's hiding something. But if that's secret, if it's something she's shouldering for our sakes, then I want to help her. Because we're friends. Now, I'll help too. Yeah, I'm, I'm locked in. I, I'm pretty sure that's not Rekko. Um, that, that's not Rekko. I don't believe that's Rekko. I don't believe that's Rekko. I don't know who that is. Um, what is it? Whoa, sorry for scaring you. I just wanted you to come someplace. Come over to the ruined corridor, you hear? And don't keep me waiting. Okay. What in the world is it? What do you want now, bro? You're here. Nobody saw you, right? No, where are we going? This here passage. The gap in the rubble here. Can you fit through? There's a gap here. Where does it lead? That's for you to see. The fuck is this? A machine emitting red light. Is this a computer? Oh good, it doesn't seem to boot up. You're late. This way. This way. KG? Quiet, try not to alert anyone to this place just in case. Your child finally found it. Found oh, what? Kai's laptop, of course. What? Charles produced a laptop computer from behind the rubble. It was unquestionably Kai's laptop, the one we found from the first floor. You found this here? Yeah, sure did. But this laptop should have been vanished from the first floor after Kai retrieved it. Why is it here on the third? Beats me, but there's no mistake, this is Kai's laptop. The possibilities I can think of are either someone collected this and put it here, or Kai put it here. Hold it, guys. Seek the truth later, all right? Sarah, KG, and I called you over so you could break into this laptop. I can't use a computer for beans. Investigate what's on it? Let's give it a shot, Sarah. All right. Okay, it's on. Please, get us some good info. Anything. Wait a second. We should come up with a plan first for what data to look for. Laptop quietly boot up and displayed a password entry screen. Not good. The battery indicator. Stop! Shoot! It'll, it's still nearly drained. It's okay. I know the password. So mentioned in the main game, the password is Cheetoin, my family's name. Password is incorrect. What? The password's wrong. What the? You kidding? What's going on? Why? So explanation a lie? No, calm down. That can't be right. It's because he hit upon the password that he was discovered Kai was the owner of the laptop. Kai changed the password. That's the only explanation. What do we do? The battery's at 4%. Sarah, type something in only you would know. Only I? If Kai really had a connection to your family, I bet he'd use a password we couldn't guess. That doesn't really narrow it down. I don't know. My family is just normal. There's nothing special to try. Kai, just what were you thinking? Connection to me. Our family's got a hero in the shadow, Sarah. Father? I entered another password. Starting up? Welcome. Nice work! Alright! Dad. I just typed in Dad's name. Did you know Kai? The battery's on 3%. What do we do? Emails. Let's check the emails Soul talked about. Okay. The email log. So suspected Kai after reading those. We need to confirm whether those are real or all lies. Open Kai sent emails. As planned, 17 people have been secured, just in case there is no error. Is there no error in the day of the death game? Everything is proceeding smoothly. I feel a deep affection for Miss Sarah as well. I will certainly protect her. I am prepared to offer myself up for the Cheetwins. It's about time. If any harm comes to Sarah Cheetwin, I will stand against even you as an enemy. Miss Sarah is looking forward to the game. Surely her friend will also take part. There they are. Exactly what So said they were. Then So wasn't lying. Wait, these emails... We just read them in reverse order, from the newest to the oldest. Sarah, these must be received emails corresponding to these two. Alright, I'll check. Open Kai's list of received emails. There, sure enough, there were conversations over email. Sort them out. Rearrange them in the proper order. This should tell us Kai's actions. Hello, hello. Did you know? Sarah's going to a board game meetup. 
Wonder if she's going alone. Rob was worried she might make some bad friends. Miss Sarah is looking forward to the game. Surely your friend will also take part. Kai, I never told you, so when did you find out? I swear to you about the only time I have any idea what you're up to is when you're there at home replying from your computer. Ah oh, well. Keep up the guard work. Thanks a million. This inspired message. That's exactly how my dad types. So your pops and Kai were in communication. Guard work? What's that about? Kai, you betrayed us? Betrayed the organization. Betrayed me. It's about time. If any harm comes to Sarah Cheetowin, I will stand even against even you as an enemy. Unforgivable. It's all come to nothing. Just try and struggle with your puny arms. Hey, the guy in this email is not my father. In the context may be one of Kai's parents, and it says Kai betrayed the organization. Organization? Kai, just what were you doing? Hello, hello! Feeling kinda in danger lately. Well, okay, it's Sarah there after. She's being targeted. I'm being I'm attached to this house, but I guess I gotta discard it and run. Will you come with Kai? I feel a deep I feel a deep affection for Miss Sarah as well. I will certainly protect her. I am prepared to offer myself up for the cheat ones. Oh Kai, you really are the greatest hero ever. Thanks a million. Another conversation with my father. Dad knew that something would happen. Discard the house and run. Sarah, were you making plans to move soon, say? I didn't hear about that. I didn't hear anything. Settle down. Keep reading. Are you the contact? You should know not to use this address. I'll hear the report, but follow the rules from now on. As planned, 17 people have been secured, just in case there is no error in the date of the death game. Everything is proceeding smoothly. I see. You've done well. On a most futile effort. Thought you could pretend to be my contact and disrupt things, Kai. You're at home right now, away from the Cheetowin's house, aren't you? I've got a tip for you. The phrase you sent X people have been secured is the trigger that sets the plan into motion. You fell for the trap, Kai. Sarah Cheetowin will be captured soon. Thanks a million. This one is from the day of the kidnapping. What's the big idea? I'm not following it at all. I'll sum it up. Kai was in correspondence with two people. One was Sarah's father, and the other was one of Kai's parents who belonged to the kidnappers organization. It seems Kai betrayed the organization and he chose to instead protect Sarah. And to do that, on the day of the kidnapping, Kai sent a fake email to the organization. Maybe the idea was that it disrupt the organization, letting Sarah escape. But his ruse was fully exposed, he just got used instead. Because thanks a million was the sign off between Kai and Sarah's dad. The emails were going straight through. All of their exchanges went to the organization. Then, then, Kai wasn't a stalker at all. He guarded me in secret to protect me. And the only time Kai left his guard duty was when he sent emails from home. That's one crafty trick. Even after his cover was blown, I'm sure Kai was still trying to warn me. That night, coming home with Joe, that's why he stood in our way. Then I remembered what the stalker had been saying. Don't go home. The battery's going dead. Couldn't get any info related to escape after all. Still, sure enough, Kai wasn't a good for nothing villain. Is that information really beneficial? There are still things we could check. If we can just get it charged, we'll boot this laptop back up. Sarah. You hold on to it, Utah. Me? Yes. For the time being, let's not tell everyone else about this. It's a secret weapon just for us three. Make sure you don't spill the beans. I gotcha. I settled then. We should act just the same as yesterday. Yeah, I'll hide the laptop in my bedroom and go do an attraction or something. We should get going too. Yes. We left the rubble filled room. You motherfuckers are trying too hard to hold these extra fucking these secrets and shit. Kana's alone. What happened, I wonder? I'll check in on Kana later. It's time to save. Save again just for good for good measure. Things are getting interesting. I can't sit here and lie to myself and say that things aren't getting interesting, because they are. This shit is getting a lot of fun. If you guys like this video, please make sure to leave a like down below and comment. Let me know what you think about the series so far. Once again, subscribe if you're new. We're doing content like this Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays every week.
And also, if you haven't already, please join the Discord. The Discord link is down in the description below. Join the best community on planet Earth. I'm serious. It's no better community than mine. All I'm trying to do is make it bigger. You could be a part of that. So join down below. But that's been it. I'm going to get up out of here. Uh, I will see you guys Monday with the next episode. Everybody stay safe, stay healthy. And as always, we move. I'll see y'all soon.